Kristen Joya here, my very first video tutorial. I'm going to show you how to make this uh, photo collage with letters uh, using Photoshop Elements. I use Photoshop Elements 9. Um, I know that 12 is out. I don't really have a use for the new one, so I think the 9 just does just fine. Uh, so we're going to create a 12 by 12 canvas. Um, I plan on putting this into Project Life, so I wanted it to be 12 by 12, and I'll just have it printed at Persnickety Prints when I'm ready to get to the end of the year. Um, as long as you know the basics of Photoshop, this should be pretty easy. Um, I didn't backtrack too far, because I just want to be able to show you how to create the letter and then get the picture behind it. So I'm going to start with the S here. This S um, is font is, uh, I don't know, I think it's Hatton Schuyler. There it is. Hatton Schuyler, that's a good one. It's one of my favorites. It's actually a, a wide font, and you're going to need a wider kind of font for these, because your photos aren't really going to show up very clearly. Um, you need them to be a little wider, because most spray pictures are in a little space. So once you've created the letter, we're going to, the easiest way for me to do um, the letter creation is to duplicate each letter instead of trying to create a new text box and typing the letter in. So I'm going to take down in my layers box, I'm going to right click and duplicate layer, hit OK. And you're not going to see that it shows up, so you've got to go back over to your move tool and it'll show the bounding box, and I'm just going to move it over with my arrow. Sometimes I'll move it with my um, mouse, but the problem that you run into sometimes is that it can slide up or down, and we don't want that. Um, we want it to stay even. So I just moved it over, um, and then I'm going to double click on it, actually triple click, and then it will turn into a text box, and I will just type, oh, what happened there? Come on, little buddy. <clears throat> no, that's not what I wanted. So I'm going to go text, double click, shift F to make my, to make my back. And then I'll commit that change. And then I've got the two photos down here that I use for those letters. So what we're going to do is start with the F. And that one I know is going to be this picture here. But the best thing to do is to make sure you've got that F selected in your layers box because when you drag this photo onto your canvas, it'll show up directly above the letter that you have selected and that's what we want. So let's get this up here and I'll go to my move tool and I'm just going to get it to the right size-ish. Always use the corner so that you keep the ratio of the photo. And then with that picture selected, you're going to control G and it's going to basically just put that picture right behind the letter and erase all the rest of it. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, so let's do the same thing with the S so I can show you again. So select the S. You can see it selected down here. Drag the photo up. Get it sized appropriately so that you don't see any of that blue letter. Oh, I see a little. Okay, you can adjust it later. So I'm going to commit the change. And I'll show you what happens up here. So just control G and it marks it. And then what we can do is um, to zoom in, you do on a, I'm on a PC, so it's control plus to make it bigger. I'll just make sure that there's no blue line showing. It looks like we're good. So, control minus to get back down. What I did was created all of the letters first. And I actually started out with <clears throat> just the words best of and the numbers 2013, and then figured that I, I just couldn't find 10 of my favorite photos. So, I ended up spelling out 2013. Um, and then had some more photos I wanted to include, so I added the absolute, um, which made the absolute best of 2013. 
um, I made all the letters first, and then I picked <clears throat> all of my photos and put them down in my project bin, um, and then just kind of went through them as far as the shape of the photo and where the faces were, and picked which letter they would be best used for. Um, then I uh, saved it, obviously, saved it in several stages because it took me a couple nights, and uh, made it a JPEG, made it a smaller JPEG so I could post it to places like Instagram, um, but uh, the original 12 by 12 um, is a, uh, the original size, so I can have it printed, and hopefully uh, I'll be done with 2013 pretty soon. Hopefully you liked the video. Hopefully it was helpful for you guys to see how easy it is to use a clipping mask. Um, hopefully you create one of your own, and if you do, I'd love to see it. Talk to you guys soon.